This course is brought to you by Appy Pie as part of our Academy series. Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll be designing a logo. So let's get straight into it. Now, of course, logos are important for every single business, every single brand, as you all know. So it's a very important aspect for your business or brand, okay? So you need to make sure you take time and effort into designing your logo as it is what's gonna stick with your business and it is what will make people identify your business, okay? So let's get straight into it. So as you can see, first of all, here at the top where it says create a design, I have logo just here but that's because it's the most popular ones for me. If you click more and then scroll down to marketing materials, which is just here, you will see that the fourth one just here says logo. So click that and let this new page load. This is the canvas just here, this white square, 500 by 500 pixels. And over here on the left, these are all the different layouts which we will use to help us design our logos, okay? So let's do this. First things first, of course, you just need to rename the project to whatever you want to call it. I'm just gonna call mine logo design like so, and then hit enter or click the done button and then it is done and it will automatically save. There you go, all changes saved. And then as you can see on the left here, these are all of the different layouts. There's absolutely tons. Just keep scrolling through and there's more, 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 more. So all you want to do is pick one of these layouts, make it your own and turn it into your own brand's logo. So you have to make sure you change it up a bit because you don't want it to be the same as other people. You want to be a unique brand, just like everyone else. Everyone wants to have a unique brand, okay? So just keep scrolling through these until you find an awesome logo for you. And then you can use these layouts to help you get the design process more professional and it'll be a lot easier for you if you don't have great design skills. So whether you're a professional or whether you are new to design, this is perfect for you, the layout section on Canva. So you can just pick any of these layouts, okay? So I'm just gonna go through these now. As you can see, this one just here is quite similar to the Black Brick Training logo in the fact that the first letter is in a square. Okay, so that's quite cool but we're not gonna use that as we don't wanna redesign our own logo once again. We will design one for Black Book Training in this, but it won't be exactly the same as what we already have. And you will be designing a logo for your own business, of course. So yeah, this is just an example for you. You can, of course, if you want to, follow along with what I am designing in this video, and it will help you to learn for your own design, or you can just go straight into it after watching this video, all right? Let's have a look at this one here. Okay, so this looks quite cool, it says, I'm not even gonna try and say what it says, of course. It looks like it's in German, I'm not too sure. So what we're gonna do here is just change some of the text, change some of the colors, possibly the fonts, and just make a new black brick training logo, okay? So first of all, we'll change this bit here to black brick, like that, and make this box a bit bigger so it all fits in. And then of course you need to center it, like so. So that is now centered in the green box. And then at the bottom here, you can have your slogan or your web address. So I'm just going to put my web address. There we go. So we have www.blackbooktraining.co.uk. Now, as you can see, this is quite long, so it takes a lot of space, but you can have it like this, or of course you can make the font smaller so it takes up less space. But I'm just gonna change this now because normally in your logo, you don't of course have your web address. You would have a slogan, if anything. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna change this now to the ultimate online courses. There you go, and that just shows you just how easy it is to change the text to make it your own. So that is now, if you want it to be your own logo, okay? But in my opinion, this sort of logo, you don't want any text down here. I think it looks nice just with the green box and the gray colored box at the background, gray brown, and it kind of just contrasts nice. It looks good, I like it a lot. So let's just leave that as that and design one more logo for you to follow along with, as of course, that was very easy, but also it's very nice, I do like it. So let's just look for another one here. This one here looks quite good because you could easily change it to a PNG, if you see what I'm saying. You can change the text color and then remove the background so it's just a plain background and then it's a PNG and you can also have it on your website. Okay, so that is absolutely fantastic. So let's just change this now. Now, as you can see, they do have these lines at the top. We'll see if we can use them, but we might not be able to. So bear that in mind. Of course, it all depends on what your company is actually called because the letters form together nicer for these little lines here. Let's see, if I shorten this, I could put that there and I could put that there. Now it looks random, but I quite like it actually. It looks, I think it looks quite cool. I like it a lot. And then of course, let's type the ultimate online courses and then let's put it over to the right just about here. So there you go, you have the logo and then the text as well. So let's make this one here a little bit bigger. 
like so. That looks very nice. I actually really do like that, to be honest. I'm not sure why, but I just really do. I'm going to just try something here. I'm going to move this one here, and then grab it, and move it along, and duplicate this. So basically, everywhere there's a nice little gap, I'm going to put in one of these little blocks, just because I think it looks quite cool, okay? So let's do the same with this just here. Of course, it does need space, the same space in between the L and the K just here, and the K and the B just here. So that looks quite good. That looks nice. And then make this one a little bit bigger. Nice. Yeah, so that looks quite cool. I like that. That actually does look quite nice. Okay, let's just duplicate this one more time. And move this just here. Just like so. There you go. Fantastic. So now we have black brick and the ultimate online courses. We could, if we wanted to, duplicate it one more time and have it after the K as well. Let's just see what that looks like. Very nice. Okay, yeah, I do actually quite like this, to be honest. For some reason, with the line all the way along the top, it just looks really nice. I really do like this. So let me just make this box smaller so the Ultimate Online Courses fits in perfectly. There we go. Pop that in there. Now that, I am really happy with, actually. I think that looks really nice. Genuinely, I really do like it. Now I'm going to make sure I have file and save this so I don't lose it because... I do like it. Now, of course, you can clean it up a bit and trim off all the fat. But now I'm going to show you how you could actually download it as a PNG. OK, so I click on the background and just click delete. And then as you can see, all of the text will just turn black so it is visible. But of course, the Ultimate Online Courses text didn't actually do that. So I'm going to change both of these texts just here to the browny grey color like this because I like that color. And then, of course, we need to grab all of these little lines and give them. Actually, I'm going to try something. I'm going to give them a green color to make them pop a bit more. So let's just do this color with absolutely all of these little lines we've got here. These bars, whatever you want to call them, and make them all that nice green color. And that, I do actually really like. I like that a lot. And if you want to download as a PNG, just go to download and tick transparent background and make sure you're only downloading file two, as of course we have the design up here as well, and then make sure PNG is selected. So then if you hit download, it will download it as a PNG for you. So let's just download this now. Preparing your design, fantastic, very nice. And your design is ready and downloading. So let's click on this in three, two, one. There you go, so that is a PNG. The reason it is a PNG because it means you cannot see the background, okay? So this is transparent. You can put this over anything on your website and there will not be huge bars going around it. It will just be this part of the image here, the part of the image which you can actually see. Everything you can't see isn't in the image, okay? That is the beauty of a transparent PNG image. So now if we just click download and go to JPEG, and of course only select number two again and hit download, and just preparing the design. Let's just let this download, and here we go, open this up. As you can see, JPEG will have the entire white background. And one more time, if we download this as a PNG but not as a transparent background, so don't tick that button there, it'll be exactly the same, it'll look exactly the same as that JPEG just now, because the background is not transparent. There you go. Fantastic. So hopefully I've taught you a little bit more about file types now. So you actually know what file types are and the main ones, JPG, PNG, and of course the transparent PNG, which is one of my favorites because that is what you would actually use to put a logo design onto your website. So that is absolutely fantastic, of course. So yeah, we've done this very nice design and this very nice design in no more than 10 minutes. Okay. So that is absolutely fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a lot. Of course, there are many, many, many different design layouts over here for your logo. So if you are a cafe, there's probably a cafe style for you somewhere. If you're a church, you've seen many church styles. If you are a tech company, that looks like tech. Even though it says construction, it does look very techy. So that's very nice. Some construction company ones here, flowers, design, all of these. So there are absolutely tons for you to pick through, okay? So take your time, design a nice logo, and then get back to me and show me what you've made. You could even post your design to Twitter and at us at black brick learn and we will comment on it and tell you how you could improve and also tell you that we like it if we like it yeah so that's fantastic hopefully you all enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned a lot i'll see you in the next one once again thanks for watching thanks for listening and i'll see you very soon goodbye